I'm five one. Why are my feet a nine and a half ten, bro? We untouchable, uncrushable. We untouchable, uncrushable. Hey y'all, welcome back. Today, um, what are we gonna do today? I'm gonna go get my nails done because this is good, what they're looking like. Um, I got these done right after my tongue selected me, but we're just gonna get cute, get ready, a little bit of self care. Now, if this is your first time here, my name is Dorothy. Hi, nice to meet you. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, so we can get into some nails, get into some self care, take care of ourselves, okay? First thing. First things first out, let me stop. I'm not a barb. I'm not as much of a barb as like the actual barbs are, but anyways, first things first, if I could open this. Ah. There we go. Just flossing. And I feel like, especially as adults, we forget how important flossing is. And I was reminded really quick when I I went to the dentist like a month, a month or two ago, and they were like, oh, you have a cavity. And like I said, y'all, now since I got this new apartment, I'm responsible for it. Okay, sorry, someone called me. But that's when, yeah, they told me I had a cavity and I'm responsible for bills and everything now. So that's just like an extra bill. And they told me, I think it was only like $60 to get it a fill-in. Um, but one, I watched that on Google and I was just like, hey, yo, this looks disgusting. Like the filling in process looks disgusting. But then they also, I just learned my lesson to take care, take better care of myself. And of course, if you already, like, you know that you should, but then, like, I feel like it adds another extra oomph when you got to pay to take care of yourself because you weren't taking care of yourself the way you were supposed to be taking care of yourself, you know? All right. Uh, so, and I've been, I think I saw this on, I want to say it was either, like, Instagram or Twitter a while back, and I had never, ever seen it until I was at a Target and then I saw it at Walmart. That's where I got this one from. But it's supposed to be really good, really natural. And they have a whole line, but I only was able to get the, I think Walmart only had the mouthwash. So, cheers. I'm going in with this Trader Joe's all-in-one facial cleanser. And I don't know if it's just me, but I think I kind of like washing my face out of the shower better so that I can see what I'm doing. I feel like if I'm in the shower, since I can't see myself, I'm not as intentional about like, oh, okay, did I get every spot? So that's just me. But yeah, that's what I do to take care of my teeth. And also, of course, wear my retainers. I think, not to brag or anything, but I think one of my best features is my smile. And I always, like, I used to have the worst, well, I don't think it was the worst, but it was still pretty bad. I did not like my smile. Like, it was really bad. Like, my K, my K9s, the pointy teeth. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Either way, those pointy teeth that are right here, I used to be able to fill them all the way up beside my nose, like crowded, literally crowded. Like I had to get four teeth pulled to even get braces in the first place because my teeth were literally too big for my mouth. And then on top of that, I got all four of my wisdom teeth taken out. So, and now my teeth are able to fit normally as they should. But I try to wear my retainers as consistently as I possibly can. And 
even, I think I've had my braces out for like almost six years now and I have not lost my retainer yet. Let me not even jinx myself, but I haven't lost my retainer. And I think I've kept up with it so well because whenever I got my braces off, like when I tell you it is such a huge confidence booster to have your smile right, like I literally feel 10 times better about myself simply because my teeth are straight and like they, they're healthy looking teeth and all that good stuff. So honestly, take kept better care of your teeth, y'all. Like the best possible care that you can because, and like if you can get braces, of course, do so if you can because it is such a confidence booster when you're done. I don't know if it's just me, but I be picking on my clothes before I shower because if I pick it out after, I'm going to be naked and afraid for 40 minutes because I can't make up my mind. So that's what I'm wearing when I go to the salon. So you know how before I got in the shower, I was talking about how my smile is like one of my greatest features, humbly. Yeah, so I feel like on the flip side, we're going to talk about my insecurities and I feel like I have a lot and it's weird because body dysmorphia really has a way of getting to you right like generally I think I'm an attractive person like I think I'm very beautiful and being 100% real y'all like we're a couple of months down the road for my birthday when I um, launch my channel and like cut off all my hair and like at times I'm just like oh wow like you're really beautiful bro like I think you're beautiful just for your beauty like your hair amped it but like even without hair you're so beautiful and you still look good but I think that I also have times where I'm just like bro you look like a boy like you look like a dude and so <laughs> my thing is like still trying to find or getting used to this new form of beauty on me, I would say. Um, so that's that. And that's just like one of several insecurities. I feel like another one, which is really weird because my coworker, my coworkers were complimenting me yesterday because it was nice and sunny outside so I had my toes out y'all but I hate my feet like I really hate my feet like I mean it is what it is so I guess there's no point in being shy and telling y'all but I'm five one why are my feet a nine and a half ten bro I forgot to go over it but this is what I use to moisturize my whole body I really love this. It's probably going to be, I don't have any like skin problems, but this is probably really good for people that have like sensitive skin. It has no fragrance. It's real thick. If you suffer with dry skin, this is really good as well. Um, I would say I have like combination skin. Some of my skin is normal. Some of my skin is really dry. But this is really great. You can use it all over your body. And then I went in. If you want a natural deodorant, this is the only natural deodorant that I found that my sister put me on that works. So you might want to try it out, but that's that. Like that type of stuff where I'm just like, bro, you look weird. Like what's that girl that was on the Proud Family? It wasn't La Cienega. The one that had the big old feet, but she was short, you know, that's me. So that's another thing that I'm like really insecure about. <sighs> my skin. Well, like the skin on my face. And ladies, you know how it can get when it's that time of the month, your face just erupts. And for me, like that happens every single month. So it's like, bro, I could be trying to make progress. But my skin is like, nah, we're, we're backtracking. We're going back in time. So I'm just like, I don't know. I got to figure out a way to, if I could stop the breakouts monthly, that'd be best. But like, if I could figure out a way to heal them faster, that'd be great as well. But that's that. And then I think one insecurity that didn't pop up until COVID hit was my weight. And I feel like a lot of people are relating to that, okay? 
And I'll say that like before COVID hit, I was like 175, 175 like consistently. Like I had been that way for like probably a good two or three years. And then the world ended. Life just went left in 2020. And of course, I think a lot of people on top of like not being as active as people were before due to COVID, like I think we're all just really depressed, bro. And yeah, now I'm like 186 and it's like, I like the 186 in certain parts of my body, but like upper half, that's where I'm just like, okay, chill out, go back to 175. Like, I don't know. And honestly, I'll take responsi some responsibility <laughs> for it as well, because I was just telling my friend Faye, she was, first of all, Faye is a whole stallion. She didn't want to be in the video today and that's okay. But Faye is a whole stallion. And this girl was telling me, oh, your hips, your hips and like your legs are like re looking really good. Give me some. I'm like, ma'am, you're making the stallion 2.0. I'm asking you for help. But it's just weird how body dysmorphia works because there's days where I feel like I don't got much working for me back there. And then days like today, my friend is like, hold up, friend. And I'm just like, what, friend? Me? So, I don't know, man. But, yeah, those are my insecurities. And, I don't know, I guess I'm just sharing to be transparent. That, like, you know, everyone has those days or has those times where it's just like, hmm. I don't feel the best about myself or like, you know, there's things that I want to change, but I think no matter what you do, no matter what you want to change or where you want to be, you just have to be appreciative of where you currently are. I think that's the biggest lesson, which I, I need to practice more gratitude. I can say that. So y'all, that is the end of this video. Um, I will see y'all in the next video for sure next week. But yeah, I think I just wanted to let some things off my chest, be transparent, be real with y'all. And yeah, I hope y'all have a great day. I hope you have a great week, a great month. Be kind to yourselves. Love yourselves. Bye.